What's up everybody? This is the Grasshopper tutorial series. Um, this tutorial we'll be going over functions in Grasshopper. So let's go and just get right into it. Um, the functions tools are under the math tab of the components panel and right here under the script you see that there is F1, F2, F3 and Fn uh, basically, the number on the upper right corner of the icon is simply just how many variables you're going to use in a function. Now, hopefully you guys remember a little bit about functions from math class. Um, basically, you're just going to create a custom formula with a variable based on the number I just told you about or in the case of n it is an unlimited number of variables but basically you create your own custom formula and input a variable input a value for the variables in that formula to give you a desired uh, calculation or output so um, let's go ahead and uh, get a real good visualization of what I'm talking about here um, the functions component the function component basically consists of a an expression and variables as input so I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, an f2 function which is a two variable function a three variable function and an n variable function which is called an expression just to kind of show you guys exactly what's going on um, let's see here Okay, so basically, I've got my four different um, types of functions in Grasshopper just laid out here for us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get a panel and plug into each one of these. And I, I spoke about panels in the last tutorial, so hopefully you're pretty familiar with that. Um, so let's just go ahead and plug in each one into a panel. And I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this down for each one. Go ahead and plug all these in. Okay, now I've got a panel which will tell us the results of whatever I'm going to try to do here. So first of all, I'm just going to do something real easy. Um, this one variable um, function component basically allows you to define a formula, I guess you could call it, that will evaluate uh, with one variable so a variable is a parameter that that you can input yourself so I can I'm gonna go ahead and just choose a slider uh, with a value from 0 to 10 just to go ahead and uh, give you an idea exactly of how this thing works you can input anything if I want to input a number I'm gonna go ahead and just input different kinds of parameters so you guys know exactly what's what you can do what you can input so I'm gonna go ahead and just set a number of let's say 15 in here and I'm going to go ahead and rename this parameter. I, I don't think I've spoken about that before, but if you right click on, on parameters, you can actually have an option to rename up here. <clears throat> so basically I'm just going to rename it 15, just so I know that 15 is the parameter stored in this, in this number. So um, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for the input right now. I'm just going to use the parameter component in the slider. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, if you right click on this F, which is the expression to solve, you have the expression editor down here. So I can go in here and basically just uh, put in some kind of formula. And I'm just going to go ahead and say X plus 5. So basically whatever I put into, and I'm going to go ahead and get a panel and uh, kind of write in which if you double click on a panel you can just kind of write stuff in I can you can use it for notes 
So what I'm going to do it for do what I'm going to use it for in this one is to use it for uh, notes to let me know what expressions are in these uh, function components. So I put an x plus five in there. So I'm just going to say x plus five. Hit OK, and you can go ahead and use this uh, arrow to kind of shrink this down a little bit. Now I'm going to put this right here just to let me know that that is an x plus 5 function expression. So if I go ahead and plug the 10 in, we would think that since 10 is being plugged for x, then 10, <clears throat> 10 plus 5 is 15. So we would, we would assume that the result is going to be 15 if this function is working correctly. So I'll plug it in, and as you can see right here, the panel tells us that it equals 15. Now if I plug in the, if I disconnect this just by right clicking on it and disconnect all, I can go over here to this 15 and plug it in and logic tells us that it will give us a result of 20. So I plug it in and there you have it, you got a 20 over here. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you this two variable component now. Um, it basically is the same exact thing but I have an option of using two variables in the expression as opposed to just one. So I'll go ahead and right click on this. Um, you can actually click expression editor in any one of these as opposed to, there's, there's a line right here that you can just input the expression. But as opposed to doing that, you can actually get into here and this is the expression editor. And it actually has um, operators in here already available so you know that you're using the right syntax basically. So if I wanna say, um, let's see what that does. Okay, so if I want to say um, x squared plus y squared, so I'll go x and then I'll use this little operator uh, squared component here icon. Click that x squared, and then all I have to do is push plus, then y squared. So now I have two variables. I can also um, put a parenthesis around this, have it evaluated first, and add 5 to it. So basically we can plug in a value for x, a value for y, and then we can add 5 to it. I mean that's what the beauty of functions are. We can, we can perform calculations completely custom to what we need. So I mean right now it might be like I, I always hated in math class to where we learned all kinds of stuff like functions and graphing and, and uh, matrices and, and all that stuff, but we never real. I felt like we would never really find out how this was applied in the real world. So I hope in Grasshopper right now, I'm gonna go over this stuff. I'm not gonna really go too far into how you can apply it to forms and geometries and, and algorithms, but I really want you to understand how functions work because I'm, just trust me, you will need this stuff later on, and it becomes an extremely valuable tool. I use it extensively. Um, hopefully in a couple tutorials I'll be going over the circle grid uh, attractor point, and I actually use a one variable function in that. So it definitely um, gets used even on basic level of grasshopper use. So enough of that. Um, so basically I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. Um, grab a panel real quick and, and type in that expression just so I remember what's in there. I did x, um, I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, raised with the um, little up arrow thing, I don't, I don't know what they call it, raise it to 2, go ahead and put a parenthesis around this, plus y raised to the 2, which is x squared plus y squared, and then plus 5. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, there I've got my expression in a panel, set it right above here, go ahead and move these over just a little bit, kind of give me some room, back a little bit, about right there. Okay, so now I'm just going to go ahead and bring this slider down, and I'm going to make another slider actually. So I'm just to make this easy, I'm going to use a small number, I'm going to say uh, 2 and 3 for the x and y values. Now, if we just look at this equation and we say that x is 2, 2 squared is 4, and then y is 3, 3 squared is 9. So we would say 4 
plus 9 is 13, and then we would add 5 to that, which is 18. So just by plugging in the values, we can figure it out in our heads if we have small numbers, just to let us know that if this result is correct or not. So we're expecting a value of 18, and if, if my math is correct, and if this component's expression is working correctly. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And then here we have a result of 18. So we can see that the function is working properly and it's doing exactly what we want it to do. Um, down here, I'm just going to show you real quick something easier. I'm just going to say x plus y plus z. Hit OK. And basically, whatever icon is, is used for the input, that is what you use in the expression. So in the expression, I have x plus y plus z, and that's basically just because I want that whatever I plug into this for x, and whatever I plug in for y, whatever I plug in for z, I want to say x plus y plus z. So whatever icon, whatever variable character is used right here is what you use in your expression to kind of add these things up or, or, or to calculate your, your formula. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and bring these down and go ahead and copy one of these. Uh, I think this stuff is pretty simple. Once you understand the, the one function variable and the two function variable, the three function variable is the same basic thing. You know, it's just adding another variable for you to custom uh, create. So I'm going to plug all these in here. And logic tells me that 2 plus 3 plus 3 is 8. So I look over here and then there's an 8. Okay, so and then basically down here, I don't know if I really want to get into uh, evaluating an expression, but but I think the only difference to really note here is that up here your expression is the f. So if I right click on the f, you can see down here x y plus y plus z or the expression editor that allows me to to manipulate my expression however I want. Uh, down here, you right click on the ex like the middle um, part of the component and go to edit expression and that will allow you to say a plus a plus b plus c plus d plus x okay um, and then go ahead and you know plug in some values just to get a good idea of how this works so I can plug all these in and again, you can use any type of formula you want. You can use multiply, divide, subtract, uh, exponents, uh, division, anything. Um, even logs and things like that. I don't even know anything about logs right now. I ho hopefully I'll learn more about them, but I'm not sure how important they are or not, but it's just good to know stuff like that. But if I, you know, logically, just like we did in the past, 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 4 is 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Obviously, we got a 15 over here. Um, I think that's a very uh, um, good way of looking at this in my perspective. If anybody has any problems with this, feel free to ask. Um, I can always edit these videos if, if somebody thinks I'm missing something very important or if it's, if it's hard to understand. But in my mind, I, I think that these are pretty easy to understand. If you've ever taken any math, um, it, this should come to you very, very quickly. Um, so with that, I'm just going to go ahead and end the functions tutorial. Um, hopefully, we can apply it to an actual definition within you know the next couple tutorials. But anyways, with that, I'm just going to end this, and thanks for watching.